So for this project, we're working with 3D shapes in Paint 3D. This is a 3D version of the cartoon character that I made in the other in the 2D section. I'm going to uh, clear this and start over. I'll see you later. So I'm going to start in the 3D shapes menu. There's three different ways you can go. The doodle is sort of a free form shape. Uh, the sharp edge, you can use straight lines and sharp corners. And then this uh, tube one makes sort of a tube shaped. three-dimensional shapes. So I'm going to use this middle one and do something like my triangular blob creature. So there it is. You can turn it and look at it different ways. I want it to be a little thicker, so I'm going to widen it there. It still looks the same in the front. Change the color to the purple. And then from there, you can add three dimensional shapes or two dimensional shapes. Uh, for now, I'm going to use the 2D shapes and draw the eyes two-dimensional brushes, drawing these freehand. I could do this with copy and paste also. But I'm doing this freehand right now, making some pupils here. And once those are on there, they should follow the three-dimensional form as you move it around. I'm going to go back to the 3D shapes menu here and make some arms using kind of the same technique that I did before, just drawing it freehand. And I'm going to make this light blue like I did before. And I also want to copy this, paste it. When I look at this arm and turn it, it's very thin. I'm going to make it a little more round. Flip it this way and attach it here. So right now it's going behind my creature. I want to put it somewhere in the middle. Same with this one. Pull it out a little bit. I'm going to select all this, and then it should move together. You can see here there's a problem with the arm. So I'm going to move this back here and also stretch it. Add that. I want all these 
these parts. As you can see, I've ungrouped, so I've got to go back and add this, add that, group these. So there's my creature again. And once you have it in three dimensions, you can turn it different ways. You can pull it ahead of the background or push it into the background. I'm going to go ahead with freehand brushes and make the mouth, which I think was yellow. Some shapes. I'll try using a already made shape. Let's try a circle here. Feet. Orange color. Push this up, shrink it down, and see what it looks like when we turn it. It looks like it's that way no matter what. So, this down here, push it back under, go to this copy and paste. The two feet here. Select these, group them, everything should move together. Notice how the arm disappears there because it's um, going back behind the background. So now we're way in front of the background. The one thing I did want to do is push these feet back uh, behind, so ungroup. a little bit. Select everything again. Now we've got one three-dimensional character. I want to make another three-dimensional element. Let's say you wanted this a nose. The shape of a nose here. Turn it. Have a narrow nose, so I'm going to stretch it out. Big. It's going behind, so I need to pull it forward. We've got a nose. What's this thing now? <laughs> Since the nose is very far in front, there. What to move this over. So you get the idea. All this. Getting the nose. Okay. Group all this. Anyway, you have to work around with it some. Get everything grouped together. Uh, 
Okay, so the rest of it would be adding the decorations that we put on there. This guy. Everything is selected but the nose. And finally, we have the whole thing. So then we can take this and put it into uh, a hand-drawn background or a background made with three-dimensional shapes or a photographic background. Now, once you get your character finished, you can look at it from different points of views, tilt it, rotate it. One thing you'll notice is that I didn't draw the lines all the way around this yellow line that I would want to do to make it look fully three dimensional. <laughs> we'll need to go in and finish those lines. Assuming you have everything completely finished, it's ready to go, you could insert uh, a separate shape and make a background like this for it. I made a little shadow for this one. Or you can insert a photo by going up to the menu here, insert pick a nice beach scene, put my character in there wherever I want. One thing you can do once you have this character selected is copy the whole thing and paste it. Now we have two of them. We put one of them way out here swimming in the ocean. And one here. But that was using the select menu uh, and the insert, I'm sorry, the menu and insert picture. So once you have things the way you want, another thing you can do is experiment with the effects. So it's basically a way of changing the lighting. Make it dark, change the angle of the moonlight here by turning the wheel, you can give it a red filter. And once you have everything the way you want, you want to save your final image or images, go back to menu, save the project, but you also want to save as an image right here. You to give it a title, save it on the desktop. All 
Okay. So have fun with this. Try some different ideas, different variations. So here are some different variations of my character that I've saved as photographs. This one, they're having a good time at the beach. Here's the one with the hand-drawn background. And here, using the different filters, are some examples of how the lighting can be used to change the final appearance.